Right, so welcome to the Elevator List project. This is a new website that will be used for listing up buildings and elevators, similar to what Elevator is used to be. Uh, here is the example page that has been made already. Uh, to visit this website, you just type in summerother.se slash elevator list. I will get straight away or a button will be up here here in this video so you can check out it straight away once you finish watching this video so what we're going to do is to add a new building and a new elevator here and to do that we need to set up an account so you just click on sign up and let's see we're going to have a new test user so write test user here and give the password uh, this is an email field by the way, so we're trying test at email.se as well as uh, let's click this one away for a moment. I don't need to watch some more elevator screens right now. And add some password. Uh, we need to do that once again. And then we need to tick on this one. The recapture function and it confirms. So we submit this form. And we have some trouble with the password. Let's turn again and then recapture. And go. Okay, a new user account has been made. So there's no sign saying that it did made, but in fact that you actually made it back to this start page means that it was actually successful. So now you can actually log in with this test user. Uh, sign in, and then there's some username is wrong. So let's try again. It's not easy here. Especially with, with a mic in the way on the keyboard. So let's see here. And then you need to reload the page to see that you really have signed in here. So once that is done, let's add a new place. So here's what you're going to do to add it. So let's put an example like test story as, as the building name. And that test straight one. And there's some coordinates that we work together with Google Maps. We can actually look it up right here. So let's stay. Uh, let's type in Paul Barry's wagon 26. This is a place that I used to live at once in time. We go into the maps right here. And after loading a while, here are the coordinates. So you're copying that one, like the so, and paste it here. And you're also copying this row over here, and paste it there. Then let's type Stockholm. Actually, let's rename this one. You can leave that field empty and type in. Call Barry's Wagon 26. Uh, one of these fields are required to be filled for the page to actually work. And we can write in these are all the proper fields, so I can use this. And here is the. You can leave this field empty if you want to. And here's something used in the future. Here you can choose a building type. In this case it's an apartment building. And once you finish with everything then let's click on submit. And we go over here. Here's our new entry on this list. Well the script doesn't know that uh, what kind of ID this one was assigned at so it automatically redirects you to this page. So let's go in here and here's the page see it here. Here's uh, the marker on the Google Maps screen. 
and here's all the information and you can see when the date when it was uploaded and how many times users has watched this page and then it says this building seems to not have an elevator inside let's correct that so we, pl so we click on plus elevator and then let's type in Luf and Rosin. It is very important that you have the fields of manufacturing year, latest modernization year, as well as uh, capacity and persons field being filled in. Otherwise, the database won't accept this entry and it won't show any errors. It will say that it was successful, but it will not. I will fix it in a later future. Uh, this event was produced by AUKUS, a small engineer company. And the serial number is unknown, so I leave it like that. And then let's type in the floors BV, 1, 2, 3, and 4. This event is in operation and it's a traction elevator for passenger use. And it have no, gr not a great accessibility. And then the capacity, I assume it is uh, 30 kilograms and three persons. Uh, once again, you can leave this one blank, but look, you can also add something that like Modernas by August in the 90s. And then we have our inside of the door arrangement. So here we're going to see what kind of configuration this elevator have. Uh, this elevator has only one side facing outwards, which is the A side. And then we need to select manual hinge door. And on the cab we have to choose uh, gate. Here it is. Or all the other sides, you leave it as none. And then we choose the floor indicator types. There's none in this elevator, and there's one button platform which lights up which, uh, when pressed down. This elevator also have an alarm bell and an emergency stop features. And then you do it once again on the outside as well. And this one actually have one call button, which is just normally down on all floors above ground. Uh, once you're filling everything here, once again, you click on submit. And it seems that they failed to upload here because it hasn't been added to this list. So let's go back and see if everything has been preserved here. It seems not. Uh, so I ultimately failed to add a new elevator. Well, that is how it works. So there's one more field somewhere that needs to be filled up before this one accepts. Uh, so otherwise it will reject this uh, input. All right, so anyway, we can also go here. We can go on to this page and you can also edit the building information like so. Here you have the information here. And once you're done, you click on submit. And it seems that there is something wrong right now. Let's so get this page instead. So, simply didn't work. So, okay, so, so it seems I need to fix that. And anyway, here's a successful entry. Here's this one building, as well as its own elevator right here. So you can see an elevator that's been already uploaded here. And this is who it looks like. So here you go. Well, like I said, this is in uh, alpha stage. It's not completed. The final version might look far different from how it works like right now. There are many things that needs to be fixed before I feel satisfied with the final version. However, it is come to quite a stage where you can be able to add and upload new projects as well as uh, edit information.
and something like that. So with that being said, go visit my website, I upload building and elevator information and stay tuned for future updates. And if you encounter some kind of problems, just click on this support or feedback link. You will always be redirected to this discussion forum. Set up an account and add a new topic where you can write about the problem that you are encountering or ask for features or questions in general and I will give you answers and support for all that later on. So that's it for a moment. Uh, see you another day.